Hello and welcome to this video where I'm going to be going over ChatGPT4 for a review article and what better than to write an article than about ChatGPT4 itself. So this is kind of like a prompt, but what you want to do is just give it a lot of details and context. The great thing about ChatGPT4 is that the reasoning and conciseness is super improved and it has a good idea of what you want to talk about. So we can pretty much add these bullet points in here. It's going to pick up on them. Might not write everything all at once, but we can always extend it, go back and write more and then go from there. So allow me to show you what I put here. Pretty much just giving someone an outline. Like if I was going to give this to a writer, here are the main bullet points. Let's have chat GPT-4 in this case, fill it in for us. So I would like you to write a review of chat GPT-4 for me. Here's the contacts and details that I would like you to follow and mention. Scrolling down a little bit. Start off with an introduction paragraph talking about how chat GPT-4 is newer, improved, and has lots to offer. The next section will have multiple paragraphs and talk about its increased reasoning and conciseness. The next section will talk about many different ways that you can use ChatGPT4 for online business owners and marketing. The next section will talk about some of the dislikes, those being that ChatGPT4 is a little slower, image input still isn't available, and it's very hard to get customer support. Last but not least, I put the last paragraph will summarize everything, and despite it having some flaws, it is still worth at least trying out and using. So that's going to be the outline. Now that we have that there, let's click on the arrow button. This is going to take some time to generate. So once it is done, I will come back and then we will go from there. All right. So we got pretty much all of this all in one shot, a good amount of content. And keep in mind, we can always write more. This is something I've noticed with chat GPT-4. It usually gives you a lot more output, which is good as opposed to having to write it over and over. So talking about the intro, it comes packed with a range of enhancements and features. So one of the significant improvements is the reasoning and capabilities, um, the result in more coherent and meaningful interactions with the AI, allowing users to have productive conversations and obtain accurate information. In addition, it's taken major strides in conciseness, uh, those seeking quick, clear responses to the queries, making ChatGPT4 a valuable resource in today's fast-paced digital landscape. So we have applications like, you know, I'm Marketing Island, so I just wanted to throw this in there. If I was writing a review, I would talk about how it can be used for content, blog posts, social media updates, descriptions, email marketing, campaigns, large volumes of text, customer service experiences by assisting chatbots, so on and so forth. Here are the dislikes. So it's not without flaws. You may notice that it's somewhat slower in generating responses. This could be a source of frustration, especially for those who require speedy interactions. Another limitation is the lack of image input capabilities. As visual content becomes increasingly important in the digital world, this missing, missing feature may hinder some users from fully leveraging the AI's potential. So it isn't out yet. I'm not sure when it will be. You know, a lot of people have that question. Unless it has been answered and I just haven't noticed it, please let me know down below. Last but not least, it is a little tougher to get access to support. They probably just have so much traffic going on there. A lot of crazy things over there. And of course, the summary. So this was pretty good. What I want to do is to say, let's see if this can figure this out. I've never asked this before. How many words was that uh, review? Let's see if it can actually tell us. Really? 409 words? I thought it'd be a lot more. Let's actually test it. I believe it. Well, I don't know if it added the title or not, but all right. So word counter 509. Take this out. Okay. I'm not sure if it added, it must have not have added like introduction and so on and so forth, but it is around 400 ish. So cool. That's something else in case you want to know that. But usually a review article isn't going to be 400 words, especially if you're trying to rank for something and it's, you know, want it to be much longer. What you can do is actually just drag out each of these specific sections. So let's say we're talking about applications and we want to talk more about, say, email marketing. Let's do that. Yeah, I changed my mind. I did social media. So I just said, write a few paragraphs and talk more about how chat GPT-4 can be used for social media marketing. Be right back. All right, so there we have it. So one, two, three, four, five, six. We got six paragraphs right there. That's probably like three to 400 more words, but this is what I'm getting at. If for some reason you want to do like a one shot blog post like this and you wanted more in specific sections, what you can do is kind of edit, tweak it around and you just like say, take out this section and add in 
everything you just added here. So that's a, a very easy way to extend like your review article if that's the route you wanted to go. But overall, that's a very quick demo and tutorial about how you can use chat GPT for when it comes to creating a review article. Obviously, you're pretty much just creating a summarization of what you would like. Just think about if you're handing it to someone else, except you're handing it to chat GPT, your intro, your conclusion, some of the main points, how you feel about the software, what you like, what you didn't like, just like it's a review. Then of course, if you need more, feel free to add it in for each specific section. My name is James. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video.